Well, Jake Mulholland finishes it off for Oregon State. The Beavers have beaten Washington in a series for the fourth consecutive season. They have won seven straight series dating back to last season, and they are rolling. 30-2 Oregon State, and now 14-1 in the conference. A scoreless game into the seventh, and the frustration from Greg Minier walks in a run, and that was the first run of the day, and Oregon State scored all three in the seventh. Well, yeah, and then, of course, Steven Kwan, who had a big day today, gets the big hit here, and he's a guy that I think can really help this team and solidify that two spot in the order. So Steven Kwan, a three-hit day, then in the eighth, a three-nothing lead for the Beavers. Jake Thompson, after giving up a walk and a hit to start the eighth, gets a couple of strikeouts and then gives way to Jake Mulholland. Well, I'll tell you what, one thing about Jake is I love his confidence. He talked about how he does get stronger in the game, and Jake Mulholland coming in the last two days, he's come in and saved situations. I think Pat Casey's trying to get him some experience, get him ready for later in the season. So Thompson now 8-0 with eight strikeouts. Joe Demir has pitched well, took the loss for Washington in front of the largest crowd ever for a ball game at Husky Ballpark in Seattle. 2,690 on a gorgeous Saturday afternoon. And Oregon State wins two out of three, and the number one team in the country is now 14-1 and one in Pac-12 play. For my partner, Kevin Stocker, our terrific Pac-12 Network crew, Roxy Bernstein, reminding you, keep it locked on pac-12.com all season long.